just gotta be right here. That's not him. That's a good bull, but that's not him. It's just a young one.
see that ball.
Well, there's Rulon and Chase going over to see if he hit this bull that was right there. He had a quick shot right there by that leaning aspen, and I think he hit him in the shoulder. He's a big old bull and had whale's tails. But there's a party of elk going on in here like I've only seen a time or two in my life. In Pavant one day I saw something about as crazy, but this is wild.
That's a big bull. What's that? The great bull. That's about the exact size of bowl. That's a good looking bowl. What do you think it'll score? That's all it does. I think he's close to three. 378, 380. It's gotta be him. It looks like the same bull. It sure does. Sure glad we got Chase with us to packing out. We're gonna find an easier way than when we came in, I guarantee you that. That four on that's only twenty. Well, we followed this bull for about three miles, I'd say. At least. And uh, we, had a, we had a little blood trail, but a good 175, 80 yard shot and drew blood. And, and we stayed with it and we got back in the herd and luckily we got to the right bull and shot him at point blank range in this dog hair timber. It was pretty tough shooting. I don't, I didn't see any branches fly off, but I imagine there was a few. <laughs> we had to get me close because I was shooting so crappy. Yeah. Amazing thing is we lost that blood trail and yep. uh, just stayed with the herd. And he was definitely the one. He was the herd bull. It's crazy so, too because with that full moon they're bugling all day long. Yeah. You know what they probably did the other day is moved over here and in this dark we timber them. we couldn't hear them. Yeah, couldn't hear them. Over we there. went the wrong way and we've got it right here. Here's the cow. It's a good hunt. It <laughs> was awesome. Rich did a great job. Yeah, finding that blood spot. <clears throat> that was the... ooh, ooh, come on, Bubba. You had the cow. There you get him. But uh, he didn't seem very sick, still with the cows, that's how we got him, chasing some bulls off. The cows went up and he chased some bulls down and then came back up to the cows and that's where we got him. Uh, he's a great bull, you know, the bottom line is public land and uh, Rich grew up in this Escalante country. This is some of the most beautiful country, it's so unique. Uh, you've got the timber and aspens up here and then the red rocks and just been an awesome hunt just uh, love this country down here in southern Utah and we're about oh, 35 40 miles from Bryce National Park um, just up in these uh, boulder mountains up here or these Escalante mountains probably boulder mountains I guess but uh, this is the bull we were after and Rich did a good job of keeping us on him we were we were into him a couple days ago I think we were a little behind the herd. They'd come up out of this water area and come back over into this thick stuff. And we got up ahead of them in the dark today, and probably had 30 bulls around us, <laughs> you know. And then the cows, maybe not 30, probably 20. But uh, sounded like 30. Yeah, <laughs> sounded like 30. And what an awesome, what an awesome bull! Just an awesome hunt. Just a little disappointed in wounding him, and but. I'll tell you what, it's been three hours since that happened and we stuck with him and we were able to get him down, so. See if you can turn him towards us. He's a hog. <laughs> Try to turn. He's a big bull. We're hoping he's in book. Great mass. 
Uh, nice color. Yeah, he's just, just an all around awesome bull. Great hunt, had a great time.